Hey guys, it's Candice and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I want to show you actually one of my favorite preferences or features that I like to set up in QuickBooks. So when you're creating an invoice for a customer, if you ever decide to type more than will fit in a line, you'll notice that you may or may not have the feature where when you hit enter, it goes to the next line, you hit enter, you go to the next line, or say between the details of the different items, you can actually hit an extra enter line and then go down and do this and it gives, you can create and customize the look and feel of your invoice more. So the way you do this is go under edit, preferences, and then you're going to find general on the far left. Then you're going to go under my preferences. The difference between my preferences and company preferences is my preferences is based off the user who's logged in. Company preferences is everything this actual data file in QuickBooks. Okay, so this specific file. So if you go right here, it says press enter to move between lines. If you click OK there, now if I want to go to another line and I hit enter, it, do, it just moves me to the next field, which is nice, but if you want to be able to add different columns, you can't. So what I do is I usually set it up where I go under edit preferences, unmark that, click OK, then when I'm on my invoices, I can hit enter and add as many lines as I want. And then if I want to go to the next area on the invoice, I just hit tab. So instead of hitting enter, I use tab, but it allows me to customize the look and feel of the invoice more. So I hope this helps you guys have an amazing day. Let me know what you thought of this tip. Don't forget to subscribe. If you need help with QuickBooks, feel free to check out Confidence with QuickBooks, my online course that takes you from the beginning to the end. If you're a brand new user or you've been trying to figure out QuickBooks, but you've really been struggling trying to do it on your own, the course does come with support. So you can ask me questions and I answer them inside of the course as well as if you enjoyed this tip and you'd like to receive them in your inbox, feel free to go up above or down below and join with your email and I'll send them directly to you. And if you need help cleaning up your QuickBooks or fixing something and you want more of a private session, you don't need the full course, feel free to check out up above or down below. I'll have a link for my private sessions. Have an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tip. Bye-bye.